Neuro Cap Long Hair Setup. Step 1. Part the patient's hair. Part the hair down the middle of the head using a hairbrush. Use hair clips to tie four ponytails at the four corners of the patient heads to expose hairless locations along the patient's scalp. At this point, the patient's long hair is properly managed and the administrator can move on to setting up the cap. Prepare NeuroCap. Place the NeuroCap flat and carefully, one by one, remove all the blisters from the electrodes. Alternatively, you can first place the NeuroCap on the patient's head and then remove blisters one by one during the setup steps. To successfully apply NeuroCap, follow the number sequence marked by different parts of the cap starting with number one. Place the front nasion area. Peel off the adhesive cover from the nasion area at the front of the forehead marked number one and adhere it to the center of the forehead just above the eyebrows. Bring the center strip electrodes of NeuroCap flush towards the back of the head, placing down firmly along the scalp each electrode one by one. Attach the NeuroCap neck piece. Pull the strip of NeuroCap through the hole of the neck piece. Attach the neck piece to the back of NeuroCap. Peel off the adhesive cover and place the neck piece on or slightly below the circle marked with sizing dimensions across the neck. Center the NeuroCap evenly along the sagittal plane. Pull strip number two of the NeuroCap along the coronal place over the ears. When doing this, Firmly place each electrode one by one along the scalp, applying maximum tension across the parted hairline. Place the two air pieces of the cap around the ear, making sure to peel off the adhesive covers and firmly press down on both sides of the ear. Repeat for both the left and right coronal sides of the patient's head. Secure NeuroCap along the foreheads. With number one of the NeuroCap secured on the forehead, Apply strip number three on both sides flush along the forehead and over the earpiece area marked number three with two arrows. Repeat for both the left and the right side of the forehead. Secure NeuroCap along the back of the head via strips. This step is similar to the previous one but performed instead on the back of the head. Apply the back strip marked number four around the back of the head, making sure each sponge electrode is placed flush along the open scalp area. The area will be marked number four with two arrows above the earpiece. Repeat for both right and left sides of the head. Apply strip number five diagonally over the top front of the head and place above the ear. Make sure sponges F3 and F4 are flush against the patient's head. Repeat for both sides. Apply strip number six diagonally over the back of the head and place above the ear. Make sure electrode sponges P3 and P4 are flush against the patient's head. Repeat for both the right and left sides. Connect the Neuro EEG. Connect the NeuroCap to Neuro EEG amplifier via the standard cable that comes in the package. Open the cable latch of the cable and hook NeuroCap via the two holes on the tail end of the connector. Plug the male end of the cable into the female connector of Neuro EEG. Turn on the device by pressing the power button for several seconds. Place the amplifier in an armband sleeve. Note, NeuroCap can be connected in a similar manner to any commercial EEG amplifier via the universal cable. Ensure good impedance. After starting a test via the Neuro EEG software, open up the calibration tool by pressing the resist button. Troubleshoot any red impedances by using a small hairpin to remove the hair under the electrodes. Also, Press down firmly the sponge electrodes for several seconds to ensure that the gel reaches the patient's scalp. To produce a reliable and stable connection, ensure that all electrode sponges make contact with the patient's scalp. 
Impedances should become green, indicating that NeuroCap is properly secured on the patient's head to provide good output of the EEG signal. Once a good connection is secured, re-click the resistance, stop the EEG test, reset the data, and begin the actual EEG study recording. Thank you for viewing this video and we hope that it's helpful in getting your tests started in a nice timely manner.